Hi, welcome to this introduction to GoZinc 4. Um, the latest version of GoZinc is a lot simpler and a lot faster. And for folks who've looked at some of the earlier versions or maybe using them, this is a free upgrade. And I wanted to show you some of the differences between this and GoZinc 3. Um, the first place it shows up is just in the configuration. It's a much simpler one screen configuration that lets you kind of review all the tables that you've got syncing and what the you know, default sync operation is for each of those. You can also see if everything you've done checks out, you know, turn field level merge on if you want to, and take a look at these and make sure that you know, there are no errors in any of your configuration. We're kind of checking your work here, and if you're, there are any problems in your config, you'll kind of see them in here, and, and you can double check this stuff really easily. This integrates much more quickly um, than our current version does. Um, we'll be putting some blog posts together about kind of why that is, um, but basically we just changed some of our assumptions and it really led us to a new version that's got a lot less code in it and a lot more power. Um, if I open up one of the uh, one of the mobile files, goes in mobile, you can see that we're still doing um, a lot of the things that that people come to you know love in GoZinc. Um, that is, when you go to filter records and bring down just a found set, we're just performing like simple finds so that you can pull down just the records that a mobile user needs onto their iPad. You know how to write these little find requests. I'm just I'm just looking for customers where the fax number is one because I have like 5,000 customers in here. I want to test the sync more quickly. Um, but it's still scriptable. It's still something you can get inside and modify. It's just a, a lot faster, a lot easier to use. Let me, let me kind of show you one of the things I mean about it being faster. Let me bring up um, reflection here. So here is uh, a mobile file on my iPad and let's just hide that. Let me bring up the same mobile file, um, sorry, the same data in, in a, on the hosted file. So here are invoices. I've only found 500 of them because I want this to go kind of quickly. And here are those 500. So let's do a little re replace here. Let's say, um, actually, I gotta type it first. Let's say hi in the notes field and all 500 records. And let's just give, give this Beachcomber guy a picture. Um, it's one of my little debugging screenshots. We'll just put that in here. Okay, cool. So let's go back onto the iPad and um, see what this looks like. So I'm just going to hit Zinc everything. And it's going to connect to our server. You can see we're doing this over Wi-Fi. And it'll take a minute or so to pull all this down. This instrumentation is one of the new things um, in GoZinc 4. We've added this kind of percent indicator on the iPad. You used to have this on Pro when you were testing and, and if you're syncing from Pro used to have a progress bar and stuff. The progress bar is still there, but we've added this uh, percent indicator on the iPad. So when people are doing big syncs, like 500, 1,000 records, they can kind of see it happening. Um, the other thing that's new is that on Pro, there's a little stop sync button. So as you're testing and playing around, you get to one of these things where it says, oh, pulling 25,000 records, you can just stop the sync, change your filters and get something that's a little faster for your testing. Um, so let's finish this here. I may pause the video and let it finish, but we'll show you the, the new logs so you can kind of see how long this took um, when we're all done. The logging is one of our favorite things in GoZinc 4. It's much uh, more robust and we're showing actual uh, FileMaker Pro errors for things like record lock and stuff. So it's, it's really built for developers to kind of get in there and fine tune their sync and then look at the logs and see what's, all right, well, that didn't take so long. So let's, let's see what, what happens here. So if we go over to GoZinc Hosted, you can see on our sync logs, here's my iPad and here's everything we did. We started this contact round trip. There was nothing to push. Right, we found zero records to push up, but we did find the poll. Ah, we did find 500 records to poll, and here they go, and that took a minute and four seconds. Feels like a long time in a video, but um, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of new stuff going on in GoZinc 4. In fact, we have a little, um, on our website, we have a little list of them. You know, no more date formatting issues, the progress indicator, of course, no more prohibited characters, just all sorts of things to make the integration like a lot simpler. Um, and of course, our, our uh, favorite thing is that it's about four times faster. Um, so this, the sync has really improved. Um, I would encourage you to take a look at it, uh, download the new version. The migration is, is very simple. We have some articles on migrating from GoZing 3 to GoZing 4, and it is a free upgrade. So I think you'll find it really easy to use. Um, check it out.